क्वेश्चन थ्री ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज द कॉस्ट ऑफ टू के जी ऑफ एप्पल्स एंड वन के जी ऑफ ग्रेप्स ऑन अ डे वॉज फाउंड टू बी वन सिक्सटी रुपीज आफ्टर अ मंथ द कॉस्ट ऑफ फोर के जी ऑफ एप्पल्स एंड टू के जी ऑफ ग्रेप्स इज थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज रिप्रेजेंट दिस सिचुएशन एल्जेब्राइकली एंड जियोमेट्रिकली और ग्राफिकली ओके सो टू के जी ऑफ एप्पल्स एंड वन के जी ऑफ ग्रेप्स कॉस्ट वन सिक्सटी रुपीज एंड अ मंथ लेटर फोर के जी ऑफ एप्पल्स एंड टू के जी ऑफ ग्रेप्स कॉस्ट थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम दैट्स द सिचुएशन सो द अनोन्स इन दिस सिचुएशन आर द कॉस्ट पर के जी ऑफ एप्पल्स एंड द कॉस्ट पर के जी ऑफ ग्रेप्स सो लेट्स लेट्स एज्यूम दैट द कॉस्ट पर के जी ऑफ एप्पल्स कॉस्ट पर के जी ऑफ एप्पल्स इज रुपीज एक्स एंड द कॉस्ट पर के जी ऑफ ग्रेप्स इज रुपीज वाई सो इन दिस सिचुएशन द टू वेरिएबल्स आर एक्स एंड वाई नाउ द इंफॉर्मेशन गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम विल हेल्प एस मेक अ पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन एक्स एंड वाई okay so the first piece of information is that the total cost of 2 kg of apples and 1 kg of grapes is 160 rupees so 2 kg of apples should cost 2x rupees because per kg cost is x and 1 kg of grapes should cost y rupees and this total cost the total of these two costs should be equal to 160 rupees so we get our first equation as 2x plus y equal to 160 now the second piece of information we have is that the total cost of 4 kg of apples and 2 kg of grapes is 300 so the cost of 4 kg of apples should be 4x rupees and the cost of 2 kg of grapes should be 2y rupees and the total of these two costs should be equal to 300 rupees so the second equation that we get is 4x plus 2y equal to 300 so the given situation can be modeled as this pair of linear equations in other words this pair of equations is the algebraic representation of the given situation now we will plot these two equations to represent the given situation graphically so here's our axis with the horizontal axis representing x or the cost per kg of apples and the vertical axis representing y which is the cost per kg of grapes and i'm using a scale of 1 unit representing 10 rupees on both the axis i'm using this scale because it will make it easier to plot the two equations so let's go to the two equations and find some solutions for them so the two equations are 2x plus y equal to 160 and 4x plus 2y equal to 300 let's take the first equation and find any two solutions of this equation so let's draw this xy table and take two values of x and find corresponding values of y so i will take values which are multiples of 10 because that will make it easier to plot those values on the graph so if i take x equal to 20 what do i get i get 2x or 40 plus y equal to 160 which means that y equal to 120 so corresponding to x equal to 20 y is equal to 120 and this is for the first equation that i'm doing right now now let me take another value of x so let's take x equal to 60 and what do i get for x equal to 60 so i get 2x or 120 plus y equal to 160 this means that y is equal to 40 so corresponding to x equal to 60 y is equal to 40 So two solutions for the first equation are 20 comma 120 and 60 comma 40. Using these two solutions, let's first plot 
the line corresponding to the first equation. So here's our graph and the two solutions I obtained were uh, 21 comma 120. So 20 comma 120 is this point here and 60 comma 40. So 60 comma 40 is this point here. And now I have to draw the line passing through these two points like this. So this is the solution line corresponding to the first equation. Now let's go back and do the same exercise for the second equation. So the second equation was 4x plus 2y equal to 300. Once again, let's find out any two solutions of this equation. So let's take for example, x equal to 30. And what do I get as the value of y if I take x equal to 30. So I have 4x or 120 plus 2y equal to 300. So this will give me y equal to 90. So for x equal to 30, y is equal to 90 in the second equation. And now let's take x equal to say 70. So what do I get for this? So if I substitute x equal to 70, I get 4x or 280 plus 2y equal to 300. And this gives me y equal to 10. So corresponding to x equal to 70, I get y equal to 10. So two solutions on the for the second equation are 30 comma 90 and 70 comma 10. So let's use these two solutions to plot the line for the second equation. So here's our graph once again, and the two solutions I got were 30 comma 90. So 30 comma 90 is this point here, 30 comma 90. And the second solution I got was 70 comma 10. So 70 comma 10 is this point here. And now what I have to do is I have to draw the line through these two solutions and what I get is a line like this. So this blue line represents the second equation 4x plus 2y equal to 300. So interestingly we see that the two solution lines are parallel, they do not intersect. So the geometrical representation or the graphical representation of the situation of the given situation is this pair of parallel lines that you see here. And with that, we have completed question three. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.